into left five over crest into right five thirty. Shout out to Sim did by the way for this awesome Rally One Yaris wheel that he sent me. Um, I'm also using the Sim did digital dash. I'm going to show you how to mod WRC Generations. It's pretty easy. First step, you need every mod's unpacker mod. Now, you don't need this for every mod that I'm going to show you, but it makes it easier for the rest of the things. Go to your favorite browser. I'm going to have all these links in the description below, so don't worry about that. So you want to get on github.com slash Avery3R. Uh, then you want to look for WRCG mod tools. You want to go to releases. It's, it says right here, how do I enable the mods? You want to go to releases. And then right here, wrcgunpackager.exe. So that's all you do. Click that, download it. So now that you have the mod here, you want to go to your system files. Then you want to go to wherever your game is installed. For me, it's in my G drive under Steam library, Steam apps, common, and WRC generations. In this section right here, the main file directory, we take the file here, the application, place it in the directory, and then you would go to the application, WCG Unpackager. You want to click it, and then you're gonna see all this. It's gonna do this for a while. This is going through every file in the game and making it to where you can access it, or every file that's adjustable. You'll see a little countdown here. Uh, you'll notice I'm 17 out of 32 right now. This in itself, does not mod the game. This allows you to mod the game through these tools. Okay, so now it's completed. It just disappeared as you saw. And now when you go to common, you'll see a lot of different things here that you didn't see before. Now the main thing that you're gonna be messing around with is tuning right here. And you'll see a lot of different configuration files that we can tweak now. Now, I wouldn't recommend just going in here and changing a bunch of values because you can really destroy the experience really quickly. And if you don't remember what you do, that's a problem. So what I recommend is anytime you change something, right click your desktop here, do new, and then do new text document, and then name whatever it is you're changing. So let's name it like uh, damage values, original. Let's look into uh, damage settings. So now you can see we have all these different values we can change, and it's just a text document. So all we have to do to, to alter anything is change these numbers. So what I recommend you do, select all, right click, copy, open up a new text document, paste, file, and save. So if you make any changes, you can go back here and reference it, or just copy and paste it over. So that's an example, right? Another thing you're gonna be looking at a lot, if you go to settings, you can change your force feedback configuration stuff here, you can change actual graphical values. You can make it to where this game has DLSS. So let's go ahead and show you how I'm getting my physics mods and my damage mods. The only thing that I have to reference for the damage mod that I'm using is my actual own YouTube video. So we're gonna go to YouTube here and we're gonna type in Sleepy Pants Sim Racing and you wanna go to playlists. Then you wanna go to WRC Generations View Full Playlist and you want to click WC Generations Damage slash Camera Mod by George Savas, or Savas. So in this video, you'll notice down here, we have the Brutal Damage Model, which I'm not using. I'm using the Safer Suspension Damage Model, and this camera uh, mod here. So when you click this, it'll take you to a Google Drive document that has all the values you need. So before you do anything mod-wise, like I said, make sure and save a copy of the original so in case you don't like it, you can switch it back. Drag damage settings to the desktop. There it is right there. So we have the damage settings just in case. So we'll click on it, make sure everything's there. It is. So now let's take our damage settings configuration file, drag it onto the desktop. We have both things now. Let's double click this, select all, copy, close that down. Go into your damage settings, select all, delete. Now we have a blank slate, right click, paste. And now we need to hit save. Make sure to hit save. If you don't hit save, nothing will actually change. So save. So now we have increased damage. So the next thing we wanna to do to get this game really feeling right, type in Patreon and we want to hit explore and then type in Ricky underscore Sim. You'll find here, Ricky Sims. Now you need to join this Patreon for $1 a month 
and then you'll have access to all these files. So you want to find whatever the newest version is after you've joined his Patreon. Here's the file, Ricky Sim WCG Mod 0.6 Pre. This is not the final release. And download it. Now we need to extract the files. So now we have the folder here. Let's open it up. Okay, so now you want to take this common right here and drag it into the main directory here. You don't want to put it in the common folder. You want to put it on the side here. That's going to ask you if you want to replace the files with the same names. You say, yes, replace the files. So now we have different tire physics. And then we have a lot of altered physics for many different cars. Not every single car right now. There's a full list on his Patreon what he's altered. I could be wrong about this, but from what I know, all the cars have a better tire model that's a bit more realistic and less forgiving. So that's how to mod the game. It's pretty simple. I think uh, this might help a lot of people. So now let's get to some gameplay and I'm gonna show you what it's like in action. So I wanna remind you all that I'm in career mode. So the physics mod is not gonna be 100% like it would be if you were in like a quick race or something like that. Like my tire grip is not maxed out in my skill tree, my engine, durability isn't maxed out my transmission time to shift or whatever isn't maxed out so i'm still pretty new to this game so the physics will continually get better in career mode if i if i want to bypass that i just do whatever stage i want in quick race or set up a season or something like that and let me know how you like the foot cam four three two one go 30 flat left 50 Left three short, 30. Right three tightens into flat left, 30. Flat right jump and caution, right four medium tightens, 30. Left four tightens into right six. And left four tightens into right three short, 80. Junction left one long into flat right 30. Right three don't cut into left two 30. Right three long open. Optimistic and right three short into left two into flat right into break jump and square left don't go uh -oh. 50. Right. Flat left 30. Left five into right six over crest keep middle into left three into right four tightens over crest 50. Right five over crest, keep middle, 50. Into right five, short, into left four, opens, long. Into over crest, right five, short, tightens, into right four, break. Into right three, tightens. And left three, short, keep into right five, tightens, into left three, tightens, over crest, 20. Uh-oh. Left five tightens into right four short. And left six narrows into right four short narrows. Into right three tightens and right six into right three short. And left five tightens short 30. Square right opens and flat left. Into right six over crest, keep into left three, keep in. Right four tightens. And left five tightens into left four, tightens 30. Right five narrows and right five tightens three. Uh oh. And left five.
five short into right six narrows and left five. Into right six long over crest tightens. And left six break into right four small cut. Into left six keep into right five don't cut and finish. Really wide course you can really make use of the whole thing. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the foot cam. Some people requested that. Hopefully you enjoy the 32 by 9 display. This is what I see. So when people look at my FOV and I have a 16 by 9 image, they're like, oh my God, you're going like five miles an hour. It feels faster to me because I have like a curved super ultra wide. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this little look at WC Generations with mods and how to do it. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.